everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. I have been missing you for the last couple of weeks. Uh, Rob and I went to Vietnam for a couple of weeks. So if you would like some traveling tips about Vietnam and Cambodia, <laughs> I would love to give them to you because we had an amazing time. Uh, my hair is really short. It was about 500 degrees there. <laughs> Rob was very, very hot. We both were very, very hot. So, uh, but we had a great time. Anyway, um, back to it. I'm back in my studio playing and I have uh, been playing with some texture paste. So what I want to show you today is how I make my own texture paste uh, white and colored. So uh, let's get to it and I will see you on the table. Okay. So it was a cup and a quarter of the baby powder, a half cup of gesso, and I just dumped it all in here, blop, blop, blop. and then a quarter cup of Mod Podge. All right, you don't want a bunch of lumps in your Mod Podge. If it's been sitting around a while, it's probably got a skin on it. So make sure you don't put the skin in your texture paste. I'm going to be doing some projects with some texture paste. I just put everything like in a sealable container so that it'll stay good for me. It's really fun stuff to work with. You can sand it, you can scrape it. There, it's coming together nicely. I'll be doing some projects with the um, texture paste, so those will be in up and coming videos pretty soon. I won't be taking off for Vietnam anytime soon, so <laughs> or any place else really. I'll be hanging home for a while, not even over my jet lag yet. That looks pretty good, huh? That's the texture that you're going to be working with. I use a palette knife when I play with it. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of that, put it in a smaller sealable container, and I'm just going to add some, uh, some green paint to it. And then this will give me a colored texture paste, which if you have priced it online, you know that it is not very cheap. And this is way more reasonably priced. A little bit more green. And this will make a lovely texture paste as well, and it will be in color. So which is very fun to work with. I'll show you what we're going to be doing uh, in the next video. So I may be using this green. That's pretty. All right, to just repeat the recipe, okay, in my adorable measuring cups from Renee, a cup and a quarter of the baby powder. I just got mine at Rite Aid. Cheap, cheap. Uh, a messy cup here. A half cup of gesso. You can use gesso or white paint. This is a crappy gesso. It's too thin for my other work, so I use that in the texture paste. And a quarter cup of Mod Podge. Take the skin off if it's been sitting around for a while, okay, so it doesn't have any lumps in it. And you have some beautiful texture paste. Ta da, ta da, ta ta. All right, I will see you soon uh, for a video where we will have fun with the texture paste. All right, go have fun. Go create. But most of all, have fun. See you soon.